Hey there everyone, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Sound of Sky Sacer, and I hope you have a fantastic, um, you know, Thursday. Yeah, sorry for that, I was kinda, uh, you know, <sighs> you know. But seriously though, I, if I have to say what they, can LeBron James please shut the fuck up for like a day, maybe two? If we're lucky, it would be mostly in a half. I mean, seriously, LeBron just don't know when to shut the hell up. Okay, okay, here's the storyline. Here's something y'all yeah, need to know. Okay, so basically, this two is featuring two things that have something to do with LeBron James. First up, we're talking about, oh, no surprise, Jacob Blake. Yeah, you know, you know the character Jacob Blake, the one where uh, Milwaukee fans, I mean, Milwaukee uh, Bucks uh, decided to cancel a playoff game because he got shot by the police, despite the fact that that motherfucker has um, has an outstanding has started Warren, who is a felonious thug who got shot seven times by the cops, who um, who told him not to do it. Well, it turns out that well, I just found out that uh, yesterday or sometime sometime this week. Um, the officers who shot Jacob Blake will not be charged. And LeBron James eats into his fucking feelings, along with some players in the NBA, NBA who was pissed off because, you know, a career criminal like Jacob Blake did not, um, did not get the quote-unquote justice he deserved. Well, on, well, honestly, I'm pretty sure that the woman he sexually assaulted got the justice she wanted. Like, seriously, I mean, this really, I mean, this shit ain't even cut. I mean, this shit is pretty fucking cut and dry right there. I mean, all he, all Jacob Bay had to do was just comply with fucking police officers. But no, he feel like, oh, I, I can do whatever the, oh, they ain't gonna stop me. Well, it happened. You got capped. And before you say anything, oh well, he did. Nah, he's alive. He's just a pair. He's just a, a quad, a paraplegic. Meaning he, he won't be walking. I mean, geez, you won't be ripping anytime soon. I know I'm, I'm dead wrong on that one, but you can all agree on that one. But then, but it's like, I don't know why LeBron James is pissed off about it. He, he knew what Jacob Blake, it, seriously, Jacob Blake is a monster. And yeah, did, did it, did he, did it suck that he got shot? Maybe, but did he, but if he would have listened to the cops, would he probably won't get shot? Exactly. But you wouldn't tell uh, these idiots, like, you can't tell these idiots that nothing because they think, oh, they know everything, but they don't. And also, th this is the other one. Um, the other one, the this is the other one. This next one, oh, this is a stupid one. It was, it was because of the, it, uh, well, the, co I forgot her name, but she was the co-owner of the Atlanta Dream, a WNBA team. And no surprise, she lost in a state runoff uh, Senate. And I was like, okay, that's not, okay, so she tried, she didn't do her best, so, you know, it's all good. And everything would be great. Enter LeBron James. He, using his, whatever big brain he got, he, he wanted to force the uh, co-owner to sell the Atlanta dream to him. Like, what the? <sighs> Evidently, LeBron knows that that team ain't shit. I mean, well, then again, uh, you know, WNBA players aren't really, you know, groovy about that. No, the reason why LeBron wants to wants the team is because he wants to use, do, make it as a political movement. Like I said, I think, in my honest opinion, and you can call me crazy on this one, LeBron James is doing whatever he can, uh, because before he leaves, the, before he start leaving the league, because he figured he could start doing a political thing. He was thinking about being a politician. God knows. I don't know why, though. I mean, he's a terrible for Ohio because he he picked two uh, presidential candidates to represent Ohio, and and in t two they they all Ohio voted red. Ohio voted red. No surprise. No fucking surprise. <laughs> Oh boy, but seriously though, LeBron really needs to shut the fuck up and stop acting like everything is about him. Like I said, he is the most narcissistic piece of shit motherfucker in the league. And like I said, he, in case, and also, he should have learned that this type of shit is the reason why 
is the reason why the NBA is losing ratings because they want to just watch basketball and get away from politics. But thanks to LeBron James, that's not going to happen. Shit like this makes me... See, this is why I hate sports now. Most people... The reason why people don't like sports in the sports media now. Everything has to go all fucking woke. But sir, like I said, the day I see... The day LeBron James... Uh, uh, retires will be a will be a day I will be jumping for motherfucking joy. Pretty much everybody, pretty much everybody who hates LeBron too. But seriously though, he doesn't he doesn't speak for me. He LeBron does not speak for me. Say you know we we as black folk uh, get scared every time we go out the door we get shot by the police. That's a crack of shit, man. And he should be he should be ashamed of saying that shit. I'm not scared. I wasn't scared of the police every time I go out the goddamn door. I'm scared of, of some motherfucker rolling up and being blasting my ass. Fucking idiot. Uh, anywho, anywho, I just want to put this out here. As always, we should leave. A, well, you already know the drill, man. Because you know the, the first week. I mean, like I said, this first week of of the tw of 2020 has been fucking crazy, man. <gasps> I'll probably be back with a. Somewhat a re a fun video, hopefully. As so, uh, I'll catch y'all later. Peace, rest in peace, Kobe.